Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. Matt Justice here for Tackle Train, bringing the market recap video for Monday, January uh, January 11th. And you know what? Not a lot of uh, economic news coming out here in the market this week in the market. Uh, but we did have a lot to talk about in terms of what's driving the market. The S&P 500 eked out just a very, very, very small gain today, up about a point today. Uh, really kind of a doji here, as you can see, as the route's been on uh, for the better part of the first uh, first uh, few uh, first half of the month of January, down from around the highs of uh, just uh, January 1 right in here around 2038 all the way down to 12 uh, 1912 right now so you're down over six percent in the marketplace to start the first week and a half in the market and uh, I do see this continuing in the in, uh, in in terms of the volatility in the market and I definitely can see some more downward movements in price uh, it is overextended to the downside as you can see here we've had one two three four five six seven eight sessions in this move to the downside to the sessions were, were slightly positive. The other ones were routes. Uh, six of the last eight trading days all down, coming down into a support level right around the 1900 mark. Now, the 1900 mark is the psychological level uh, of support, a slight little minor level of support over here. The real level of support is 1870. And so I, I certainly can see the market coming down into 1870, but nothing would surprise me if we saw a little bit of an upward movement in price coming back into resistance, as I do see this as a short term down trend coming in to support uh, once again support right around 1870 uh, but you do have some levels to worry about at 1900 I was watching the intraday data yesterday and uh, you had some uh, some uh, decent movements right at that 1900 mark as you can see here when the market opened up yesterday uh, the intraday uh, price movements came into 1900 right there before it rebounded initially broke a little bit and when it broke 1900 here you saw a big move to the downside before it came back up and then it tested this 1900 here as well so intraday i definitely say 1900 is your support level uh but if you're looking on the daily chart you're looking at 1870 uh with your support level and if you're looking at those weekly charts you can really kind of see how important uh this 1870 barrier is it was an old support level here old resistance over there and i fully expect that to be uh to be tested within the next uh, uh, the next short little while so in the S&P 500 we have a slightly bearish bias uh, it is overextend to the downside to a uh, to to a tad uh, with support between 1870 and 1900 let's look at the dollar index here I do have a slightly bullish bias on the dollar index uh, looking out uh, I was talking last week about how it was breaking out of a symmetrical triangle uh, it did do that it tested up above uh, up at that uh, $100 the dollar is going to have a difficult time at 100. It's a significant whole number. It's a major area of resistance. Uh, if it ever does get up above that level, I think your 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 go time. But you know, as conservative traders go, you're probably uh, just uh, day trading, scalping the dollar until something is broken at that hundred dollar mark, and uh, hopefully we see some type of close up at that level, and then it's go time there. If you're looking at your short term support levels right here. You do have support at 97, uh, 97.25. You also have a support at 97.80 as well. So that would be your short-term support levels. Your short-term resistance levels are 99.5 and, and 100. I do not think any any swing or position trades is appropriate on the dollar until you see some breakout on the $100 mark. And I don't see anything that is tradable uh, outside of day trading or scalping on the downside on the dollar right now. Now. The big news of the day, well, let's first look at gold. Uh, gold having a little bit of a rally here coming back up into these resistance levels uh, at 1100 I know that it's, it's been pretty decent recently, but I like gold on the short side right here uh, to come right back down into that 1060 to 1070 mark. And so I do, even though despite the fact that it's had a little bit of an upward movement in price, I do like it to the downside more uh, more than the upside. Same thing with silver. And finally, the, the route is on in crude. As you can see, uh, looking at a specific pattern here on crude oil, downward to the 20, downward to the 20 
downward. So if I look at kind of the movements to the downside here, you got 48, to, we'll call it 40, about $8 moving on a $48 stock. You're talking right around, um, that's a, that's a, Big, a big time 16, 17, 18% movement. Uh, so you're looking at 43 down to 35. That's an $8 move to the downside. This one here went from 38 and you're currently at 30, uh, 31. So if you're looking at the same type of trajectory, which is called potential average yield, if you're looking at the same type of uh, trajectory that it's had in the past, you're looking at a $30 mark and that's where it kind of getting the low of today is 30.88. I, uh, I, I don't think that we have too much more movement to the downside before we retrace very similar to what we've seen into this range, into this range. But you can't fight the momentum. Obviously, we're not a buyer here in any capacity. This is a big time route uh, down at, and just getting absolutely slaughtered throughout the day. And uh, this is something that I see uh, for the foreseeable future. Downward movements, sideways, upward movements, more down though. And uh, looking at that on the downside, wait for a retracement, wait for something better to set up. Uh, but uh, we are seeing a specific decent pattern here on downward movement in price at a lower low, retrace to the 20. Downward movement in price at a lower low, retrace to the 20. Downward movement in price at a lower low, wait till that retrace into uh, into the 20. Now, in terms of today, we did not have a lot of economic activity today. Uh, I do want to mention a couple different things, though, if we're just looking at some of the indexes here. I'm going to look at first at the Dow Jones. If you're looking at the Dow Jones on a weekly chart, and that's exactly what we're going to do here, we're going to put it on a three-year weekly. If you're looking at the Dow Jones on a, on a weekly chart, this is a kiss of death pattern on the way downside. If you look at the uh, spiders, SPY, on a weekly chart, this is a kiss of death pattern on the way down. Uh, nothing has changed in those in those daily, uh, excuse me, in those weekly long-term uh, long-term trends. Uh, one last thing to note here on Alcoa. Alcoa is reporting earnings tonight, and um, Alcoa is reporting earnings tonight. And uh, in looking at their earnings call, uh, not a whole lot of movement after the uh, after the fact. Coming back down to the daily chart. Uh, they have reported earnings. The actual number was 0.04. The estimate was 0.03. I can't wait to read some of the shady stuff that they did to uh, beat the expectation, which was not very good in the first place. Aftermarket, uh, moving on Alcoa, that is not much. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with that, Alcoa is the traditional start of earnings season. Um, and uh, when it was a Dow 30, first Dow 30 stock to uh, report earnings. Uh, but you also have BlackRock, Citigroup, uh, Fastenal, Intel, JP Morgan. Uh, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank Corp., all of them are, are uh, reporting earnings this week. This is a very light week in terms of earnings. Not really anything to talk about. Uh, next week, we'll start seeing an increase in activity on the earnings front. Uh, so just to recap, dollar slightly bullish, crude, bearish. S&P 500 slightly bearish. Um, but uh, S&P 500 nearing support, uh, crude is overextended to the downside, and we can't buy the dollar until it breaks and closes above 100. This is Matt Justice for Tackle Trade. Hope you enjoyed the uh, market recap video for January, Monday, the 11th. Um, and uh, if you need anything from us over there at Tackle Train, let us know in the forums, let us know on the comments, uh, comment section, or you can always hit us up on Twitter at Tackle Trading, at Trading Justice, or my personal Twitter at MattJustice13 as well. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.